Bihar, Gaya. He had also been associated with NCRT New Delhi, AIMS New Delhi, Indian Institute of Health Management, Jaipur, and Modi University of Science and Technology, Lakshman Gad, in various capacities. He has authored six books and contributed for several book chapters, research articles, and very famous national and international journals. So we are very honored to have you here with us today. I would invite you to so please come on the dais and share your views. So please. Good afternoon, respected Honorable Professor Anand sir, Chairman of this uh, session, Professor Ranjit Verma ji, Sanjan Sarma ji, Deepak ji, and the plenary speakers, resource persons, Professor Sarma sir and Dr. Ajit ji, and other faculty members, team students of different schools, heads of different departments, and faculty members of the Department of Sociology of Magad University and of course <coughs> the participants of this seminar who are of course the present day play of this academic event. At the outset, let me congratulate the Department of Sociology under the headship of Professor Deepak Kumar and the young dynamic faculty members of the department who really are planned, they have planned and they are now executing their planning, so their, their, their efforts really deserve to be appreciated. And I've been honored to be with us here this morning with uh, my Guruji Professor Anand sir. And uh, I will share some ideas with you related to sanitation, society, and sociology of sanitation. Before I start my lecture, let me tell you as in lighter mood. Uh, Honorable Professor Pranjal Sarma said that uh, when, uh, Anand sir has already said what else is remaining to share with you. Just compared to that, I am happy to share with you that I feel relaxed because I am in between one side I am having the blessings of my guru and another side where students are sitting there. So I feel relaxed and comfortable between these two uh, personalities. Well, uh, so far as my topic is concerned, as I have told you, I am sharing with uh, certain things related to sanitation, society, etc. and how these things are uh, related. Normally when we talk about sanitation, it is generally misunderstood that only the science people, because the environment and other issues are totally related to them, and they are supposed to ponder upon the issues related to sanitation and other things. We, the social science students, and we, the general people, are least interested in these things. Well, you may remember the last month, uh, the first week of January, the media kept on uh, showing the uh, incidents of the Josimut. The cracks of the wars in the Josimut, they kept on, uh, because of the TRP and other purposes, they kept on showing that the cracks of the wars. Of course, the Josimut example, it's a burning example to understand that, well, in every case, development cannot be considered as panacea for any social problem. And in that, we, the students of sociology, are supposed to visualize the invisible cracks in the society. Well, visible cracks can easily be shown by the media, but we, the students of sociology, are supposed to ponder upon that what are those things that, and it is indicative of the fact that even for the development, it should not be unholy alliance between tradition and modernity. While we think of any development of any society, we cannot ignore the ground reality related to the area, related to the rituals, laws, patterns. So even development cannot be isolated. It should be, as in the in initial lecture of Dr. Deepak Kumar and in the Kulgit, we talk about talking about the roots. So we cannot if we Try to forget the root, we will be uprooted. So the Josimat example is a burning example that how even the environment, society and development, these things are related. So if we think that well, sanitation, environment and society it is not that problematic issue, but perhaps of course after the Josimat example, we are not supposed to, but even if we think, we, while driving, we keep on getting one message in our side glass. It is clearly written, objects in the mirror are closer than they appear. On the same line, we can say that repercussions of ignoring sanitation will be worse than it seems. That's why the relation between environment, sanitation, socio-cultural norms, patterns, values, it needs to be 
deciphered and needs to be discussed and it is the responsibility of the we students of sociology to ponder upon such issues so that we can uh, think that what is the reality. Before we start discussing the theme of sanitation and society, let us know some of the ground reality of the society, what is happening. And the data, that is for example, according to Census of India 2011, that is the latest data with us, because the Census of 2021 could not happen because of COVID-19. In India, 53% households do not have vaccines. 53% households, of course, it's a matter of satisfaction that in 2001 it was 64, but in half of the population in India they do not have the latrine. If we go by the another data that is National Family Health Survey, according to the fourth round, 49% households only have the uh, sanitary facility in a proper way, and now it is just 70% they are having that facility. So when in this situation, and this ground reality is of course not the general media coverage of the internet sources, Census of India and National Family Health Survey, these are the relevant sources to understand the reality of the society. So it leads that sanitation is not simply the issue which is supposed to be understood by the science or the environment experts because it is not related to resources but sometimes it is related to knowledge and awareness. Even in his magnum opus Asian drama, Guna Mirdal clearly says that it is the not the lack of star city. It is not lack of star city, but it is lack of awareness, lack of knowledge, which is responsible for this uh, worst situation of sanitation. So it is not that the, the statement of these days, but in Asian drama, Gunnar Mitter clearly uh, mentioned that. What happens, it is related to behavioral pattern. When we, we have, when we behave in a particular way, we generally do not show the sanitation sensitive behavior. We are habituated of ignoring uh, such things. And even if we are aware, we are very smart. When we know that well, we are being observed by others, we start behaving in a particular way. Here I am reminded of one of the theories of uh, sociology by the Irving Goffman, Dramatical Analysis. In Dramatical Analysis, Irving Goffman talks about the front region or back region. In uh, common sense, we can say that formal or informal life. So we are very smart when we are in formal life, we are very careful that, okay, I am being observed by others, so my behavior should be in a particular way. The moment we shift to informal or in a government's term, the back reason, we immediately change our behavior. Another smartness generally we unfortunately show is that, well, this is my room, my flat, my area, it should be clean. But I am not interested in that area. So, while throwing the garbage or any other thing, we are very punctual, we are very conscious that this is my area, it should be clean, but I am least interested in that area. It is not like that. In fact, we should understand that in the environment, even if we throw garbage in that area, it is going to uh, affect us also. So, well, it is the lack of awareness, but it is not like that we do not know. Knowing, uh, uh, not knowing particular thing, and knowing the thing, but not behaving in a particular thing, is a different thing. So we are in a dilemma, what to do, what to not to do. Here I am reminded of one of the dilemmas which is uh, having reference in the Mahabharata. Once Lord Krishna asked to Duryodhan, that well you are from uh, that big family, you are having wonderful lineage, you are having wonderful guru, why are you behaving in that particular way? Uh, Duryodhan narrated his dilemma and I quote, Janami dharma najame pravritti, janami dharma I know what is dharma, but I cannot attach myself with it. I know what is a dharma, but I cannot detach myself from it. In the same way, we are aware that, well, we are not supposed to do that. This behavior is not sanitation sensitive, but still we keep on behaving in that particular way. So there is need that what we do, of course what we learn, what we know, that we are supposed to do the practice. And we are from Indian society, and fortunately it is not that from the SDG, MDG, they are uh, talking about the cleanliness. In India, our society is that we go beyond the external cleanliness. We are having the internal and external purity. We 
are talking about mansa vacha karmana pavitrata so it goes beyond simply the jharu and other cleanliness it goes beyond that and when we are having that wonderful tradition that not only external cleanliness but from inner and other sources also we are supposed to we should keep on thinking about that also when we keep on listening about the different advertisements after the covid 19 that wash your hands wash your hands it is not like that after the introduction of the covid 19 we started learning that okay we are supposed to wash our hands it is part of our tradition even today when the visitors or of the come we offer water for washing the feet and hand other thing it is part of our culture the close connection between the environment sanitation and society is already there in our society simply we have to understand the reality in this area chhat uh, is celebrated chhat is symbolic of the close relation between the water other things and the social norms and patterns but sabitri the married women uh, perform puja ritual at the barsabitri and it is close connection between the environment even in the different paintings mithila painting or any other painting we is do the sketch of the birds and the trees and plants etc even neem to see people these are parts of our culture but unfortunately we are forgetting that well our close association is all really there and when we try to forget all these things and that to in this global era as i talked about the globalization in this lpg era globalization preference and globalization where we are supposed to or we sometimes we think that well it's better to detach ourselves from our norms patterns and values it will be like a suicidal step and the, in this particular context that it is not new for us even in the chanakya clearly written in the art sas that well there are different rules and norms to maintain the swast and swachh samaj that is clearly written in the art sas of the chanakya it is not that we need today there was clear that punishment event during the that period Uh, very near the Rajgir or Nalanda, if you visit Nalanda, the ruins of Nalanda, you will find that particular type of drainage system there. That clearly indicates that it is not like that we today we are thinking about the proper drainage system, but of course it is already there. It was there. Simply we are supposed to understand that well. We have to maintain it. Same way, keeping in mind uh, the particular uh, necessity. and even the latest national education policy you will be surprised to know that that the sanitation term is used to five times in the latest national education policy 2020 and sanitation was totally missing in the first national education policy 1968 and the second 1986 in third the, the latest 2020 national education policy five times the term sanitation is clearly used it is indicative of the fact that how we in the academics are also supposed to understand the use of the particular sanitation and uh, we are very fortunate that there is new discipline that is sociology of sanitation that clearly keeps on the linkages between society caste gender and other things how to discuss all these things as part of the sociology of sanitation that is new emerging discipline because sanitation for others it is simply related to cleanliness but we should understand clearly that it is not simply related to cleanliness it is related to thoughts also the socialization process also we the students of sociology learn about the upward cultural lag don't you think that there is clear cut cultural lag when the toilet facility is already there because of the government facility but we are still continuing open defecation it is not an example of cultural lag that uh, material culture that is infrastructure of the toilet is already there but the non material culture that is our mindset not to use that toilet is lagging behind that so this theory can easily be applied in the sanitation also that we should change our mindset unless until we change our mindset because vivekananda has clearly warned regarding that that take care of your thoughts we are what it is clearly made of our thinking simple logic is that when we talk about the sanitation another issue is clearly related to gender the gendered form of sanitation is very dangerous normally we do not ignore of course sanitation is important for male and female both but it is more problematic 
for the women. For example, open defecation. Of course, it is problematic for both male and female. But open defecation is not only harmful for their biological and socio-cultural aspects, but it promotes eve teasing and other things because they just become the prisoners of the daylight. They cannot go outside. Another issue is sanitation related to bringing water. That is considered as responsibility of the woman. Of course, men can easily do. In some of the areas, it needs 30 minutes, 40 minutes to bring the water. And in the latest survey of Anarpa Jason, it was asked that what is the contribution of male and female. You will be surprised to know that 80%, 80% women 60 years and above, they bring the water for their household compared to just 16% male, they bring the water for the household. And even in the below age 16, below 3% girl child and 1%, less than 1% boy child, they are responsible for that. So we have to more, even in our text lab, we experience that even one son is there, daughter is there, we just tell, we just order our daughters to either clean the house or the offer a glass of water to the guest. We just totally compartmentalize it to the women. And in that context, the black feminist uh, Patricia Collins, they consider, she considers women as outsiders within. Means, of course, she is part of the society, so she is within, but she does not play any role in decision making and other things. That's why she is quote unquote outsiders. So, in sanitation case also, we consider them as outsiders within because we compartmentalize that well, sanitation and all these things are solely responsibility of women. So, this gender aspect needs to be considered while discussing the sanitation also. Same is related to caste system, particular caste is associated to that particular thing. We, the students of sociology, know about the worst and or the management people, they talk about the empathetic understanding and we should understand that why only a particular caste should be associated to particular sanitation work. If we are unable to, uh, you might have noticed one clear cut placard of the Indian Railways, जिस गंदगी की ओर आप देखना नहीं चाहते हैं, आप ही के तरह कोई आदमी उसको साफ करता है। We should know that we are having the tradition of आत्मवत सर्वभूतेश। We should understand that if we cannot do particular thing, how can we imagine that the particular member of the caste will do particular thing? See, so ultimately through the socialization process, through socialization process, we should nurture our child, not only child. We can also do that. The simple habit of ours, for example. We the faculty members, when we give assignments to the students, simple logic, you just tell them they will submit their assignments in the plastic uh, folders. Just stop them giving the assignments because they will get the mark on the content, they will not get on the uh, plastic. So if we discourage that habit, even that submission of assignments in the plastic cover, it is very simple aspect, but it creates a lot and at least, the, uh, at least it will be a baby step towards improving the situation of sanitation in the society. Despite the fact that whether the 2008 was declared as International Year of Sanitation, and it was part of the Millennium Development Goal, and it is still even in the SDG, it is part of that uh, Sustainable Development Goal, it is part of that, but ultimately it is related to behavioral aspect, it is related to social aspects, that we the students of sociology should understand the sociological content that is inside the sanitation and if we promote that gender sensitive behavior perhaps we may uh, play um, we may contribute towards the improving situation of the sanitation and in that context as we started with the content that we are very smart we just think that it is other job same way psychology people they use the term blame game same we play that well I am not responsible either the NGO, UN agency, government, state or center, they are responsible and in that we perhaps we commit mistakes like which is hinted by a Urdu couplet, ek khata hum jindagi bhar karte rahe, bhul chehre par thi, aina hum saaf karte rahe. इसी चक्कर हम लगे रह जाते हैं कि हमारी कोई जरूरत नहीं है हम क्यों करें दूसरे लोग करें और इस चक्कर में हम समय को काटते चले जाते हैं 
अच्छी तरह पता है कि मैं अंतिम वक्ता हूँ और मंच और लंच के बीच में मुझे ज्यादा देर नहीं टिकना चाहिए और इसलिए मैं अब अपनी बात खत्म कर रहा हूँ तो इसलिए मैं पहले ही सतर्क हो जाऊं कि लंच और मंच के बीच में न हो और अपने खत्म करने से पहले मैं जय शुभकामना देना चाहूँगी दो दिवसीय जो मंच है जिस अकादमिक मंथन की शुरुआत सम्मान प्रोफेसर आनंद कुमार सर ने कर चुके हैं वो दो दिवसीय जो ये अकादमिक मंथन होगा इससे जो अमृत निकलेगा जरूरी ही आने वाले दिनों में हम सोशोलॉजी के छात्र के लिए और बाकी जो लोग होंगे उनके लिए ये बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण होगा और फिर से मैं डॉक्टर दीपक कुमार जी को और इनके पूरे यंग डायनामिक फैकल्टी मेंबर्स को मुझे यहाँ मौका देने के लिए धन्यवाद देता हूँ और आप सबको धैर्य पूर्वक आपने सुना इसके लिए मैं आभार It was indeed a very enlightening session, and uh, uh, now uh, it was the time for the comments from the chairperson. But. Uh